Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It's Monday, June 12th. This is just going to be a quick read here. Um, I want to find out um, how the protests outside the federal court building in Miami tomorrow will go. This, of course, is contingent on Donald Trump actually finding legal representation because apparently his lawyers quit and he's having a hard time finding lawyers because he's a giant pain in the butt as a client and he doesn't pay his lawyers. <laughs> what? It's the, the bifecta of lousy clients. Um, so reading stories real quick, something about four busloads of people from around Florida being brought into Miami uh, today and they have like another six or eight buses in reserve and upwards of 2,000 people could be bussed in. So <laughs> an evil thought, just like the Ron DeSantis uh, rallies where a bunch of kids, the, the, the kids did this to, uh, to Trump before on TikTok where they all reserved tickets and then they didn't bother showing up. So it was an empty rally. And I'd be really curious if a bunch of counter protesters signed up to ride the buses. <laughs> and they can bust it. The Republican Party, I guess it was the Republican Party that arranged this in Florida. <laughs> they could bust in counter protesters. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to do a quick read. <laughs> what are the Republican protesters going to be? Are they, you know, are, how are things going to be with the protests tomorrow? Are they going to be crazy? Are they going to be calm? Or is it going to be a, a collective meh? We'll find out. So, how are the protests going to go tomorrow? For entertainment purposes only. Huh? There he is. There is the man of the hour, Jack Smith. Okay, why spirit? Why is Jack Smith coming up? Um, temperance, integration. Um, did Jack Smith have something to do with this? It doesn't seem like it'd be something he would do. It's be something that uh, the federal courthouse would take care of. Um, I wonder uh, I wonder if the temperance card is, you know, it's a slow integration of things. It's slowly bringing things in and slowly mixing them. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to try and keep the protesters apart from each other. And they probably won't let them get too close to the King of Swords. Because... You know, the closer you get, the closer you bring them to the courthouse, the more amped up they're going to be. So if you keep them a distance away, they're not going to get as agitated. They'll yell at each other. The protesters and counter protesters will yell at each other, but they won't be yelling for the cameras because they may not be that close. Let's see if, if they're kept a uh, distance away. So in the past, we have planning, getting ready for this day. This um, this indictment, and I think there's already a plan. So basically, tell me there's Jack, Jack Smith already had a plan in place to deal with protesters coming in, and the toxicity that they may bring. Um, the current situation is lowering the temperature, and again, so this is moving from troubled waters to calmer shores. They might be moving the protesters away from the courthouse. That seems to make some sense. I believe um, I did watch Libby uh, Meister Tarot do a reading on this, and that's pretty much what she was getting. And it's ringing true with me as well. Death card. It's the the overarching energy is the GOP protesters. They're sensing that this is the end. Um, that this indictment. I think they know it's got some teeth to it. And they desperately don't want this day to end, this night to end, and this day to, to come. But there's nothing they can do about it. This is just, this case is so locked down tight, they don't want their king to be dead. But, you know, just because you don't want it to happen doesn't mean it will. Um, Page of Wands is the lesson to be learned. Here, you know, you're, you're allowed to protest. You're allowed to go forward and and do the things you want to do. But if you try and cross the line, if you try and rabble rouse, you're going to be removed. And whether you're arrested. Oh, which is, of course, brings up the other point. Didn't Ron DeSantis pass some ordinance 
that you can't have a group of more than three people without filing a permit? Anybody file a permit? The outcome, you can't give them water. <laughs> Don't give them water because that would be breaking the law. Um, in the end of the day, the protesters will be there to protest, but it's going to be calm. And that's not what they wanted. That's not what the Republicans wanted. That's not what Trump wanted. That's not what the protesters wanted. They wanted to rabble rouse. And instead, they're being told to sit over there and be a good little boy. And here's your warm milk. Underneath it all is uh, the victory card on this one. I think that the... I. My, my guess is, is that uh, um, oh God, my, my guess is things are calm. This could also be the busing in of, uh, of protesters. I thought, you know what? This might be what this is also is the busing in of protesters, but there's the boat's not filled. There's not that many. Yeah. Um, I do not expect uh a, a, a raucous crowd tomorrow. I think this is going to be a fairly calm. Yeah, there'll be some people making noise and you'll see Trump flags and there'll be, you know, crazy interviews with crazy people and their crazy ideas. But in the end of the day, it's just people protesting at a courthouse and maybe not even that close to the courthouse so that all they end up doing is yelling at each other and then going home. Okay, so that's my thoughts on the protest tomorrow. I think it's going to be much to do about nothing. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.